hi beautiful and welcome back to another video and welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing how i achieve that um skin like and finish on the skin and still keeping it full coverage okay and she she's got a little bit of is it acne prone skin so um I had to go in full coverage because I love full coverage okay so um, if you have not yet go ahead and subscribe leave this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what part of the video was it for you also we just jumped into skin because I already have a detailed video on how I achieved the eye look so make sure to check that out so right now I have done the skin prep and the eye makeup so I just went in straight on with foundation. And if you notice, I didn't um, go in with a foundation around the nose area and the under eye. This is to um, help me not to pack too much product under the eye so that the under eye will not dry out after she has worn the makeup for say um an hour or two so i just left that place bare and the remaining foundation on the beauty sponge is what i used to blend then i went into highlight first now this technique highlighting first before your contour is another new technique i think you should try because this technique is amazing because you will not have to um do too much blending you won't do too much blending so highlight first before you contour so for contouring it will be like you're closing the lines between the contour and the foundation if that makes sense okay so um that's what i'm using i'm using the zoeva brush to um blend and for this technique you have to um tap on very well you have to make sure you blend very well and now i'm going in to do nose contour for the foundations i use are by blossom makeups i have used this brand consistently so if you've noticed in my description bar it's almost the same because i just use one brand okay for now i'm just using one brand and it's really serving me so i'm going to stick with the brand so I'm using um, Blossom Foundation and I'm also using Blossom Makeup Lip Palette to apply blush and I'm blending. Okay, make sure to blend. If you've watched up until this time, go ahead and subscribe already and turn on notification bell because we have some good stuff coming out for you. So now I'm just going to blend out the harsh lines between the highlight the blush and the contour and that would be it so now we have to set and lock in all those cream products okay so first i went in with um my powder palette the city girl um, powder palette and i used a small damn beauty sponge to set the under eyes very well because i don't want any creasing around the eyes okay now i noticed that the under eye was looking a little bit too bright for me okay now if on camera this will look really really amazing but if she wears this out she's going to look too bright i noticed i did notice that okay so um yeah after i was done searching the uh, i'm pressing this powder into this cream product because you want to lock in this cream product now i went in with that same powder palette and a real technique brush to set the entire face and if you watch my technique i set both the blush you know why because i want to tone down the blush effect already so that when i go back in to set the blush everything is not going to look too shouty too pronounced it's going to still look toned down but still giving that blush effect okay so i make sure i set everywhere everywhere that i applied foundation or contour so now i went in with a darker shade of powder to blend the under eye 
thoroughly to make sure I tone down the brightness of the under eye okay because she's wearing this out and I don't want her looking crazy outside so this is how I fixed that overly bright under eye okay I went in with a darker shade of powder and for the under eye under eye I didn't do much there so right now I'm going in to um, do contour okay I contoured the sides of her face and also contoured the nose okay if you've watched other my previous videos I use same brush that I use for contour for blush because it's going to blend those blend those two products in on the face so now I'm just going in to um, bake and just to brighten because we did go in with a darker shade of um, powder to tone that down so right now this is a natural that would help and I'm doing a bit of reverse contour with her exact shade of powder just to um to snatch the face even further and i went in to dust it immediately now onto the bold red lip that you saw on the thumbnail okay i went in with a a red eyebrow pencil or a lip pencil pardon me so i just used this to um outline the lip and to give me an idea of what i want and i went in with this um tiny brush to um outline the lip okay now um, this red um, lippy can be really really tricky so um, I just had to wing it and it turned out okay so watch me sculpt the lip I was taking my time I was in her face because I had to get all the perimeters of her face The important part in this um, whole lip tutorial is the outline for real because when you get the outline the other things other parts of the lip will be really really easy again if you have not yet go ahead and subscribe okay subscribe to the channel okay okay after we were done I had to go back in and um, do the under eye I just went in with a darker shade of powder on the part in the part in the powder palette gosh I can talk <laughs> and I use that to um, you know just um, blend the under eye out nothing too much after that was done I blended the I lost footage of me blending that out so I just uh, dusted off the excess powder and now I'm going back in just to touch up on the contoured areas and the blush area and I went in with this highlighter it's on a random powder palette I loved it although it was giving off this um, whitish shimmer but I still loved it then I went in with um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I used the highlighter in the inner tear dot and I went in with a setting spray to set everything together and I drenched the face with setting spray okay now if this video was really helpful to you make sure to like comment and subscribe and until the next video make sure to stay beautiful bye bye